Hello, Zizi. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Could you put the umbrella down, please? Okay. It's stop raining. Okay, finally it stopped raining. Where are we now, Gigi? And what is that thing over there? We are now at Armanche, which is a city next to Tracy sur Mer, where I was born. And Aromanche was a pretty big city at that time, anyway. And that's where the American, the English, decided to land. This is, was an artificial. I'm uh, trying to show the beach. In other words, the Brita, this was the British landing beach. Right? It was the, uh, yeah, it was the uh, British, but it was the, uh, made also by the Americans from uh, America, huh? and they had to dump a lot of the uh, boats down to the sea to make uh, the road the, uh, where the, uh, the, the, the uh, trucks and the, the, it was like a, like a road on the sea. So this was an artificial port? Yeah. This was an artificial port. Uh, so the... Uh, so that's a stuff there. That didn't just stop the waves. That was where the tractors and everything... Tractors and trucks and equipment came? That's right. In other words... Those, those iron things, those, those are, what, what are they? Uh, we call that in French ponton, and this was what they used, they came one by one, put together as a road, so the, tra the uh, trucks and the jeep and the trucks could go on it and come the uh, Etat Romance. So this was like a supply uh, line for the war. That was a port, artificial port. But you used that. to you used to come here and swim on the beach. Yeah, we after the war, after the beach were cleaned up from the, the uh, barbed wires and uh, were they mined too? Mined, so yeah, yeah. so from the finally 1949, we came here on vacation from Paris to see what it was all about. Before that, during the war though, we, uh, right after the war in 1944, my two brothers and us kids, we came here to play on the beach finally, and we found millions of little uh, bottles of penicillin, we call that. And we, uh, we came here just to put everything in our pocket and take that home that that was our toys you, because you, during the distance toys were very uh, rare we couldn't have any toys my mother couldn't afford it and so we played with those uh, little bottles did, did you play soldiers with them and line them up and yeah, stuff? yeah exactly yeah. we used to play like it was regular toys and uh, each little bottle was kind of a soldier or a, uh, a German even. They were atropine syrettes and uh, penicillin injectable uh, right, but things. We, uh, miles. We, miles. Yeah, we, we yeah. were walking on it like they were stones. It was a, The I beaches remember. were full of all of those uh, penicillin shots. Yes. And uh, of course morphine too. Morphine, yeah. Yeah. Now what's now? Oh, I got to ask another question here. Uh, what did you get, let's say, on Christmas? What was a typical Christmas gift you would get during well, the war years? My parents were very poor, of course, and they, uh, I remember one day, one Christmas, I had all of us. We had one orange. That was our gift for Christmas. One for all of you? Yeah, but orange were very wait, wait. rare. Each person got one orange, or all Each of you? Each person, we we had one orange. A piece. A oh. piece. <laughs> How about socks? Did they give you a clothes? No, uh, no, I don't remember anything like that. But my mother would have a big uh, dinner, and we were all around the cheminée. My mother would have a big, huge cheminée, 
and we would warm up on the front of the flames and we were so happy to have a nice meal and one orange. And well, that walk, was... walk with me over here and keep talking. Just talk over your shoulder at me. I want to see what this thing is over here at the end of the walkway. Um, how about um, Chris, um, Easter, or, well, what did you do, let's say, on Easter as a little oh, kid? Easter, we always had to go to church, and we had to wear our most beautiful clothes, nice dress, a little hat, I remember my little hat, and white gloves, and we had to go to church and sing. And I used to love to sing. It was so mystic and so... I love to go to church on that day, and it was a, uh, and w with my sister we were always singing, and I love that part of the, uh, so, of Easter. So the also the Germans used to shoot it at the airplanes with these anti-aircraft guns. Yes, like this. But this one, I don't know which one it is. This, this. I think this is American. This is a typical British. <clears throat> It's a this, cannon of 44 or 40 This thing here, Gigi, right. here, hold this up. When the British come, this is what they lay as a memorial marker for to commemorate the dead soldiers. The coquelicot. Yeah, it's the flower of Normandy, I guess. Yeah. Right? The, the, um... What do you call a coquelicot co in English? A poppy. Oh, yeah, poppy. Yeah, poppy from Normandy. And that is what they lay on the tombs, the memorials for people who died and what have you. Yeah. Well, that's what this is, a cannon. And this thing here, this is the artificial bridges that they would use. Yes, on the uh, around there. That's what you still have. And that's the searchlights to light these, up the. S these were on the top of the ponton, which made out of cement, I suppose. And somebody said that they sunk ships to build the artificial port. Yeah, they built uh, hundreds of them. And you still made crepes, but your mother. Yeah, called my them mother Britain? found crepe day like a. Uh, Britain crepe. Mardi Gras. They would, we would make a crepe made out of very dark uh, flour and, a, uh, and butter. She used to put butter in it. It was more like a uh, dark uh, crepe. It was, it was very good. What about it was jelly? not sugary. No, no, no sugar. No confiture, no jelly. No, no jelly, no, nothing sweet. But did she make her own jelly? I don't remember my mother making jelly, no. Hmm? Okay. Well, let's look again over here at the beach. Now, um, what else can I think of saying? Uh, oh yeah. How many, did each of you children have your own bicycle? No, we didn't have our own bicycle. We had a bicycle for four girls. My three sisters and I, we had one bicycle for four girls. And we used to use it maybe 15 minutes, one person, 15 minutes, the other one. And that was at the castle of Tracy-sur-Mer. And I have to say that every time I would use a bike, I was so bad at it. At it. it was either the big oak tree or the, uh, the dew, the dew that the, uh, the water that surrounding the castle of Tracy-sur-Mer. And, uh, but uh, we had to do this way, and we were sharing, and we were doing pretty good. That's so, uh, what I'm looking at over there is called the Falaise. Yeah. That's the area of Omaha Beach where the American soldiers had to land and fight it out. Yeah, this, and the, uh, the other side of the But the Falaise. British actually here pretty much walked ashore almost. They didn't have that much serious resistance. They came by boat. But, the, but here the... Uh, oh, yeah, and now the, the British... The British soldiers, did you get to meet them at all? Oh, yeah, the British soldiers were, uh, took over the field around our uh, house. Although our house was gone, we had to go to the farm next door. But we used to go when we were small. Uh, after the war, maybe a few days later, we used to go to their camp 
and uh, beg for cookies and uh, candies. So you begged from the, the the Nazis when they were occupying you. Then when the British occupied you, you begged from them. That's right. And, then and when that's how I learned my first English word. And my first English word was candies <laughs> and chocolate. I don't believe this. <laughs> okay, 105 howitzer time and so on here. These are different things from the beach. Come on over, Gigi. Join us and have some fun here. Yeah, Let's walk over this way. So, that side of the beach there was the American sector where you see the Falez, and that's where they were attacking Omaha Beach and Punta Hawk and so on. Right. They had it rougher because of the... Uh, the German, the, uh, the, the German very units. heavy... Uh, they came in from army there, and they came here uh, from Germany, I think. From Stalingrad. From Stalingrad. That surprised them. Yeah. Surprised the hell out of them. So, when you went to the beach from Tracy, Tracy sur -Mer, that's yeah. your beach there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. So, but you would kind of walk over here though, anyway. Well, we like this beach here at Saromange because the beach was nicer. It was bigger. And bigger, yeah. Yeah, so... It seems right. like uh, the... Now, what other, going down. What, other, what else did you do for, for fun? Oh, for fun? Just look at the boys. There was no television. Oh, what about radio? That was against the law, uh, too? We had radio. I remember my mother having radio, but we only have it uh, when we moved to Paris. But we not didn't with the have Germans. It in Normandy. No. no. The Germans didn't let you have radios. No. No. no radio. And I remember my father telling me that he had a rifle for hunting and they all had to go at the uh, commandature to give back all the rifle for hunting. The German didn't want the Frenchmen to have rifles. Mm. Okay. So my father had to go back and to the uh, commandature and give back his uh, rifle. I think after the war they gave them back. Did it snow much here in your winters at Christmas uh, time? Yeah, I remember uh, when we went after the war, we went to my grandmother because we had not, we were uh, without a uh, home. Uh, I had to cross few fields and uh, it was snowing. It was during winter. Snow on the ground, but it's very rare here. So you were a refugee. You really had nothing. All you had was the clothes on your back. Yeah. And, and what about your little tin Oh, yeah, toy. but uh, that I have to tell later about my tin soldier, because that's a big No, we want to know now. <laughs> we want to know now. It's a big chapter of my no, life. No, the tin soldier. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I got that at Christmas. I don't remember that one. But I do remember when the... Uh, we were going to the ditch and we were hiding from the German and the war. I took a tin soldier with me and uh, when my mother escaped, uh, we went hitchhiking and uh, some British uh, troop took us in their uh, truck and uh, we, went go we were going to my grandmother hitchhiking. And uh, when uh, an English soldier took me down from the truck, I had my teen soldier, and it was during the night, and I lost my little uh, teen soldier. I was so upset. I cried. I cried so much. I think much. you're still crying. Oh, yeah. Look at those eyes. Oh, I was She's very, very sad. Poor That's girl. the only thing I wanted to keep all my life, that you will kill the soldier. All right, well, this is, the end of, this is the end of chapter four. Thanks a lot. This is our homage, uh, just a few kilometers from Tracy-sur-Mer, where Gigi was born and raised.